Hello Red Scope children, it's Mrs Briggs here and I'm bringing you another book. This one is called Our Incredible Planet, written by Cara McFarlane and illustrated by Joseph Wilkins. Now you can learn a lot from a front cover and here we can see that this is a non-fiction book. So what does that mean? It means it's not a made up story. This is real. On the inside cover here, we've got some big words that you can use your phonics to help you sound out and blend together. For example, in, k, r, e, t, i, b, l, incredible. Incredible. And this one, s. Oi, ul, i, ng, sp, oil, ing, spoiling. See if you can have a go at the other words. And then below here, we've got some high frequency words. These are known as tricky words, aren't they? So we've got why, they, some, their, what, and do. Let's begin. Our incredible planet. We've got a vocabulary check here. So we've got some words down on this column and then we've got the meaning of the word and then we've got an example of it used in a sentence. So I'll just read this first one to you and then we will get on with it. Okay, so this word here is spoiling. And the definition of that, the meaning, can be destroying, damaging or ruining. And used in a sentence here, our planet is incredible, but we are spoiling it. So if there's any word you come across in this text that you're not sure of, you can go back here if you like. Or alternatively, if you want to put me on mute, you can read all this self or with a grown-up. Let's begin. Our planet is incredible, but we are spoiling it. It is getting too hot. I'm going up to the top here to this heading. Why is this happening? We've got a question. Harmful gases called greenhouse gases are destroying the planet. They get into the air when we throw rubbish in the bin and run our cars. So we've got some photographic examples here of that happening. Greenhouse gases trap hot air on the planet, so the planet gets hot and cannot cool. We've got a diagram here, haven't we? The sun, greenhouse gases, and the hot air that's trapped. As the planet gets too hot, plants and animals will struggle to live. As rubbish begins to rot, it lets off greenhouse gases into the air. Some plastic rubbish put in the ground will stay there for a very long time and not rot. This is also bad for our planet. So, what can you do to help? Here we are, we've got a list. Put less rubbish in the bin. Collect card, metal and glass. Collect unwanted food and garden rubbish. Avoid plastic things. Okay, boys and girls, so having a think about this, what bins do you have at home? You have different bins and boxes. Do you do any recycling? What things can be recycled? Glass and metal can be melted to form more bottles and cans. Food and garden rubbish can form compost. Oil. It is best to avoid plastic, which is often formed using oil. Pick things that are not wrapped in plastic when you go to the shop. 
Now, this can be a tricky thing to do um, because sometimes we're not given the choice to do that. However, a lot of supermarkets now are offering um, items for sale that don't have as much plastic wrapping or packaging. Okay. Cars let off lots of greenhouse gases. What can you do to help? Avoid travelling in a car. Get on your feet. Hop on your wheels. Catch the bus. Okay, so these are some ideas here of the different things that you can do. Maybe sometimes on a long journey that's not always possible. But have a little think about times when you are walking. Or maybe if you have a bicycle at home, when you're using that to travel around and catching the bus too. Trees get rid of some of the gases from the air. What can you do to help? Plant more trees. So here we've got an illustration of some boys and girls planting trees. Now, there are more companies out there that Say, for example, you know, toilet roll. Um, well, for every pack of toilet roll that is bought by some companies, they plant another tree. So they're trying to look after our forests more, which is a really good thing, isn't it? I think sometimes with books like this, it's important to think about the things that you can do at home because some of these are really, really good ideas, aren't they? But maybe, you know, if you just make a, a small change, such as recycling certain items, then that makes a difference, doesn't it, if we're all doing a little bit of something. Next page, will it help? Aha! Oh, funnily enough, that's just what I've been saying, isn't it? If we all do a little bit to stop putting harmful greenhouse gases into the air, we can help to protect our planet. So all positive steps, all little changes. Now it says think about the text. So talk about how we can protect our planet from greenhouse gases. So here we've got some photographs showing some of the positive changes that people are making. And then we've got some questions at the back. Okay, so I'll read these to you and I'll let you do the answering. I think this must be like a complete the sentence type scenario. Let's see. Number one, the planet is getting to. Is it cold? Is it hot? Or is it big? Maybe you can respond by writing a comment. Or on a piece of paper and taking a photograph of it, if you like. Question two, greenhouse gases are helpful, harmful, Good. Number three, card, metal and glass can be thrown in the bin, collected or put in the garden. Number four, it is good to travel on the bus, in the car, in a truck. So with that one, think about the suggestions that they made of small changes that you can make. Number five, to get rid of greenhouse gases, we can plant card, bottles or trees. I hope you found this book interesting and informative. And if there are any small changes that you're making at home, please do let us know. At my house, we recycle, um, and as a result, we've got less things in the normal bin. Okay, so we've got um, we've got a pink lid bin, we've got a green bin, we've got a brown bin. So we are recycling our plastic, our glass, our tins. We're also recycling a lot of paper and cardboard. Last summer, we set up a compost bin in the garden. I would say with things like that, make sure you research and find out how to do that in the best way so that you're not attracting lots of unwanted visitors to the garden. OK, on the back cover here, we do have some extra questions 
and where you can find the answers on the pages. Thanks for listening, everyone. I hope this has given you something to think about and something to talk about at home.